Moving forwards in a business as traditional as an organic craft brewery takes sympathy, understanding and very flexible process equipment. In this video we'll follow the journey of Stroud Brewery from a manual traditional brewing process to an automated process that maintains the prize-winning quality and consistency of the beer. Greg Pilly, the brewery founder, takes us through it, speaking first from the original brew house. Uh, Stroud Brewery, we produce a range of three regular beers, Budding, uh, Tom Long and Stroud Organic Ale. Budding we named after the inventor of the lawnmower who lived in this village in Thrupp and actually produced his first lawnmower on this site. Tom Long um, has several uh, stories but the one we like the most is that he was a, a mythical highwayman uh, based up on Minchin Hampton Common which is literally just uh, up the escarpment here and he was hung at a, a post famously known as Tom Long's Post. Stroud Organic Ale, uh, well it's uh, what it says on the tin. It's, uh, it's our draft organic ale and the only organic draft beer produced in the county. We're currently running at um, our full capacity here in the brewery, but running at full capacity is quite an uncomfortable situation to be in. There's absolutely no room for error. Uh, we're all working flat out as a team. Uh, none of us find it very easy to have holidays without doubling the workload of somebody else. We can't be sick and certainly that we can't afford to have any problems in the brewery, which is quite nerve-wracking uh, in a brewery of this age and state. So the new brewery is going to give us uh, some extra capacity to at least improve the working conditions that we have as a team. Uh, but also it will allow us to diversify our markets. We want to do more bottling and we'd like to sell more beer direct to the public. The brewery starts with hot water and so we're going to start with the hot water which is obviously temperature controlled to an exact temperature. This we have at the moment but we have to move between different temperatures the cycle for different uses. So we're going to aim to have two tanks, one of cold water and one of hot water or liquor as we call it and by the other we blend it together automatically to create the exact right temperature we require. The hot water will then be mixed with the grain into the mash tun and in there that has to happen at 65 degrees. At the moment that's done by manually setting the water temperature to what we think is the right water temperature, mixing the grain in and stirring it all in by hand. Once the mash has finished mashing, it's run off out of the mash tun and across into the copper. At the moment, this is done completely manually by opening a valve to adjust the flow rate of the output, adjusting the flow of the water coming in the top to rinse the grain, adjusting the feed out of a pump into the chopper, and all of these are done and basically balanced by standing on top of it and making sure that the levels remain at the correct level. But it's a system which mostly works, but occasionally has faults. By having a much more system built from the ground up, ready to go with a full bank of fermenters rather than just adding another one, add another one, sure. patching them all together, have a much tighter control and hopefully a lot more accuracy, which will give us a much more consistent product. Burke is sold to a large pharmaceutical industry, food industry, dairy, anywhere where we need to move fluids, whether it would be milk, water, steam, beer, anything that helps in a, in a process industry. We brought a, a small level of control technology into this microbrewery, helping Greg to monitor and control the, the whole process. We built and designed a control panel where we have a PLC and there is a color display, graphic color display where he can see the different vessels and the tanks and the piping, the different points where we measure the, the flows, the levels, the temperatures, and he can from that panel see at any given point what's happening in the process. This is our new brewery. This is the future of Stroud Brewery. And we're standing here in our new brew house. So in this corner we'll have our new copper which will stand right up to the ceiling and alongside our mash tun and this is going to be five times more space than we had in our little brewery just over the yard there and right through there you can see uh, what's going to be our fermentation hall 
uh, grand term, we're actually going to have a dedicated hall to our fermenters uh, and we'll have six vessels in a line, all nice shiny stainless steel. Uh, our hygienic space, uh, the new production capacity of our, our 20 barrel brewery. Having this new space is going to really let us be far more public than we have been in our old brewery. The old brewery is getting quite tatty and to have this as a, a new shop front for our business and encourage people to come down and visit us and collect their beer and see what we're doing uh, and how we're maintaining the quality of the product that they uh, know and love so well. Well, here we are in the new brewery and we made our first brew in here on July the 4th and our first fermenter and once again as we did in our first brewery we brewed Budding, our launching beer and we're really delighted that that beer then went on to win its category at the Gloucestershire Camera Beer Festival. So we've maintained our quality uh, and the beer is identical to what we brewed before. And we were very conscious that we wanted to keep things as similar as possible. So all the vessels, everything is quite simple. But what allows us to brew four times as much beer uh, in a single day as we did before is some basic level of automation. We haven't gone overboard with it, but what it means is just through the use of some level sensors, flow meters, uh, and an intelligent control panel, it means that we don't have to stand over the process continuously. Uh, and that's enabled us to grow the capacity of our brewery. The biggest change which has occurred for us, having moved to the new premises for new system, is how much more easy and convenient it is to do a lot of tasks, which before were quite intensive, if not physically, but also mentally, as in watching, monitoring, looking after things, the runoff, the temperatures of the fermenters, the temperature of the liquor tanks. Now we can set these things, let them go, to keep a casual eye on it and just frees up a lot of time now to focus on other areas of the brewery. We're still starting off with the exact same grain as we always have, same liquor ratio, except now instead of what we used to, we used to actually mashing by hand with a paddle into the mash tun, bit of work, with four times the amount of work, that's not going to be that easy. We now have a hopper and what we do is we load the grain into the hopper and under the hopper is a our liquor inlet, which has hot and cold liquor being blended together to achieve the optimum temperature. As the slurry falls down, it goes through a mono pump, which pumps it through a chute into the mash tun. There's also a temperature probe on this chute, so we actually see straight away what the temperature of our mash is as it's loading the mash tun. Come back when it's all finished, and it makes life a lot easier that way now, allowing us to focus on working the other end. Birkin has a vast experience in controlling processes, whether it's pharmaceutical, food, or in this case, brewery industry. And we have done some control systems and components for the big breweries, but also for microbreweries. And when Greg from Stroud Brewery came uh, to see us and explained him what his pains and his needs were, we listened hard and we managed then to translate that to this visual control system. Birkin control eight processes within Stroud Brewery. There are three main ones and very important that I'd like to talk you through about. First one is the strike temperature control, where we control the temperature from the cold liquor tank and the hot liquor tank going into the hopper where it's been mixed with the grain into the mash tun. It's very important that tem that temperature is correct. And with the help of our temperature probes and our control system, we control the speed of the motors to achieve that temperature. The next one is the runoff from the mash tun into the ground. That can be a very labor intensive process where you need to have a look at the ground continuously. We solve that problem with the runoff into the ground by putting three level sensors in the ground. The control system get then information from those level sensors and control the runoff so you never go below a certain point or never go above a certain point. With that, the head brewer or the brewers 
they can walk away and leave it to its own and can do other things during that time. The third process we control is the temperature control of the fermentation vessels. They can't be too high, they can't be too low, and either we cool it with, a, uh, with the water from a chiller or we heat it with a heating pad. And the control system is reading from our temperature probes what the temperature is and adjust that accordingly. To give you an overview of what Bergen has done here is that we have provided the hardware, the software and the knowledge to give Greg the flexibility and control to do what he does best, brew a great beer. The automation that the Burka control panel has offered us has enabled us to come this far but I'm really looking forward to the day when I can sit in the beer garden, see that the temperature needs some adjustment and maybe log in and just change that temperature or bring the cooling on from my mobile phone.